Hi, thanks for using OurChurch.com's WPEZ website builder. It's WordPress made easy. In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up a prayer page on your website. So, to do that, we go to our WPEZ dashboard and we're going to go in under the More menu and click Prayers. So you'll notice there the page that comes up here is the prayers settings and um, there are a whole bunch of short codes listed here. There's PB forms is the shortcut for the forms. Um, there's PB requests, PB praise reports, compact view, expanded view, um, some things like that. So what we're going to do now, I'm going to show you how to create your page using these short codes, and then we'll come back in here and edit the settings. So let's go under Pages, Add New, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to right-click this and open it in a new tab. And we'll call this Prayer Requests. So the first short code I'm going to put in here is the form to fill out so people can submit prayer requests. It's PB Forms. Okay. Now the next thing that I would suggest is to be able to display prayer requests that other people have submitted. And to do that, I'm going to put a little heading in here and I'm going to put in the short code for that um, PB Compact View. And let's see here. We're going to make this a little bit bolder, heading three. Not this one, though. All right, I guess it thinks it's the same thing. Right. There we go. All right, and then last but not least, we are going to put in a heading and short code to show praise reports so that people can see answered prayers. And we'll talk about how to manage prayer requests and praise reports in another video. All right, so let's make this actually another heading there. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and publish this. And as you can see, if we refresh, We've got a prayer request page now. And you'll see here's the form that people can fill out. And then below this is a list of prayers. And you can click in and view the details on that. And then we've got praise reports that are shown below. Now, the next thing that we need to do, however, is to finish our uh, setting up the prayer request plugin. So if we go back to the settings here, you'll see the first mandatory setting here is to select the uh, prayer request form page. It wants to know what page the form is on and what page the prayer listings are on. So we're going to set this to prayer requests for both of them since we have them both on the same page. And then below that, let's go over some of the other uh, settings that we have here. So we've got one of the things that can be done. Um, and actually, let's just go ahead and take a look at that. We're going to save this. And we'll refresh the page here. So when you're looking at prayer requests, and this is both what you and visitors to your website, they can click to indicate they've prayed for the person, and they can also click to report abuse if somebody has posted spam there or something that's inappropriate. So when we are managing our settings, you'll see that one option here is how many times do you want a prayer request listing to be flagged before it is hidden from public? 
and this is the default is three but if you want you can set it to even one so that if one person clicks the flagged button it goes away or you can disable that feature so that everything that is posted uh, stays there unless you as the administrator remove it uh, you can also set the maximum number of characters you can customize the text that is shown um, this is the message that's displayed above the form um, so you can change that if you want and uh, request list intro text this is also um, on the page that we have added there we're going to keep these the same for now we've got email and notification settings so um, by default um, when somebody requests prayers they can have a report emailed to them they have the option if they want it or not something that tells them on a daily basis how many people have prayed for them um, so if you have a lot of people using your website and doing that that might be encouraging to people if um, you don't have many people visiting your website it could be discouraging for somebody to get an email that says zero people have prayed for you so you have the option here to um, if you want daily reports to be sent out or not the daily email subject is there by default the um, email reply to this is the uh, when the daily email is sent out it says it comes from this address by default it will be no reply at your domain name um, this is it's important that it comes from your domain name so they get through to the people that they are intended to rather than being flagged as spam you have some options here for the greeting for the closing and uh, the prayer gap alert um, you have the option here if you want to moderate all requests before they go on the website if you're concerned about people posting things that are inappropriate you could turn this on and then nothing will appear, no request will appear on your site until you have seen them and approved them. Um, however, if you do have, uh, either way, um, new request notifications are sent to this email address, and the email address will be the email address that you signed up for your site with. So you can either have them appear automatically, and then you'll get an email and you can moderate them, or you can have them not displayed on your site and then when you get the notification then you can go in and publish those that are appropriate so we will leave it for now that it is um, the moderation requests um, are off so that the prayer request will be displayed immediately and then the administrator can take them off later if they want to all right, so we've got some display settings. How many prayer requests do you want on there? Um, and then spam prevention. This is something that I do think is a good idea. So we'll basically you can put in a very simple question that any human being could answer um, here. And so we could say something like, uh, what is one plus one? And we can say the correct answer is two and that way any human being can answer the question. So let's go ahead and do this. We will save our changes. And that is how to set up your prayer request page, including the prayer request form, the prayer list, and the praise reports. We will I'll, we'll have some other videos available so you can see how to manage prayer requests, how to combat spam, and how to manage praise reports. Thanks for watching.